Hare Krishna. Oh, I can't hear you. Hare Krishna. Oh, now I hear you. Yeah. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Dhanabhad Pranam. Yes, Maharaj. Today, one month ago, uh, uh, our neighbor, she trained today, want to join our class. Oh, very nice. Welcome. What's her name? Uh, Miss Okwa. Miss Okwa? Oa, H O A. S O A. Soa. Yes, Hoa. Hoa. Pronounce it. Yes. Hoa. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nice to meet you. How is Christine? Yes, Christine. You are Miss Miss Hoa? Yes. Okay. So she is living in the same building? Yes, Maharaj, so we can start now. All right. Yes, Maharaj. Okay, so we're reading Bhagavad Gita. Hmm? We're reading the Bhagavad Gita. Have you got text for everyone? Have they got some text? Uh, they have the book. Oh, they have the book? Oh, yes, okay. okay. So, we're reading the second chapter. Chapter 2. Yes, Maharaj. Uh, Maharaj, we finished uh, chapter 2, sloka number 15. Oh, so we finished 15, eh? Okay. Yes, Maharaj. So, we'll go to 16. Reading from Bhagavad Gita as it is. Chapter 2, text number 16. We will read the Sanskrit. Nasato. Nasato. Nasato Vidya. Oh, Nasato. Nasato Vidya Te Bhavo. Nasato vidyate bhavo. Nasato vidyate bhavo. Nasato vidyate bhavo. Na bhavo vidyate sataha. Na bhavo vidyate sataha. O by your apidrist untash. O by your apidrist untash. O by your 
Nasato vidyate bhavo Na bhavo vidyate sata Na bhavo vidyate sata O bhayo rapi drishtuntas Tuana yos tatva darshi bi. Tuana yos tatva darshi bi. Hare Chen. Nasato vidyate bhavo. Nasato vidyate bhavo. Nasato vidyate sata. No Sanskrit. No Sanskrit. Uh, okay, so later I'll send you the PDF in Bhagavad Gita. So next time you can read. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. We'll read the, the sin. Oh, Okay, we will read the, the word meaning. Yes, Na. Na. Never. Na. Never. Asata. Asata. Of the non existent. Of the non existent. Vidyate. There is. There is. Bhava. Bhava. Endurance. Endurance. Na. Na. Never. Na. Never. Never. Abhava. Abhava. Change, changing quality. Changing quality. Vidyate. There is Sataha of the eternal of the eternal Ubayo of the two of the two Api 
verily verily drishta drishta observed observed anta anta conclusion conclusion to to indeed anayo of them of them tadva of the truth of the truth darshibe darshibe by by the seers by the seers translation those who are seers of the truth have concluded that of the non-existent, the, materi the material body, there is no endurance, and of the eternal, the soul, there is no change. This they have concluded by studying the nature of both. Do you want to read the Vietnamese? Okay. Purport. There is no endurance of the changing body, that the body is changing every moment by the actions and reactions of the different cells, is admitted by modern medical science, and thus growth and old age are taking place in the body, but the spirit soul exists permanently, remaining the same, despite all changes of the body and the mind. That is the difference between matter and spirit. By nature, the body is ever-changing and the soul is eternal. This conclusion is established by all classes of seers of the truth, both impersonalist and personalist. In the Vishnu Purana, it is stated that Vishnu and his abodes all have self-illuminated spiritual existence. Dotimsi Vishnur Bhavat Bhavani is Vishnu. The word existent and non-existent refer only to spirit and matter. That is the version of all seers of truth. Maybe we will speak on that before we read more. Yes. You read the Vietnamese, this first paragraph? Thân thể luôn biến đổi của chúng ta không thể trường tồn. Y học đương thời thừa nhận rằng cơ thể thay đổi từng khoảnh khắc nhờ vào các tác động và các phản ứng của những tế bào và do đó mà cơ thể lớn lên rồi chuyển dần sang tuổi già. Còn linh hồn thì bất biến bất chấp những thay đổi diễn ra trong cơ thể và trí tuệ. Đó là sự khác nhau giữa vật chất và tinh thần. Về vật chất cơ thể hay biến đổi, còn linh hồn thì vĩnh cửu Cả những môn đồ của thuyết vô cá tính lẫn những môn đồ của thuyết cá tính, những người đã thấu tỏ chân lý đều kết luận như vậy. Vishnu Prana chương 2 của 18 câu 38 có nói rằng Đức Vishnu và nơi ở của Ngài là thực thể linh tinh thần cho cái người hào quang từ tồn tại và không tồn tại chỉ ngụ ý nói tới tinh thần và vật chất tất cả những người thấu tỏ chân lý đều khẳng định điều đó Thank you So Srila Prabhupada uh, Lord Krishna is speaking to Arjuna, and he's describing to Arjuna the difference between the body and the soul. Ở đây, 
Krishna có giải thích với Arjuna cái sự khác biệt giữa cơ thể và linh hồn. The body is matter and the soul is spirit. The, bo the, the body is changing, but the soul never changes. The body changes every moment. We don't notice the body changing, but the body is changing moment by moment. The different cells in the body change. So people, those people who are studying science, medical science, they can see the changes in the body. We may not see the change, but the body is changing. Just like the young child, you have the young baby boy here in the home and we see the boy growing every week, gets bigger. He's grown so much since the time of his birth. And the child will keep growing up to a certain point, up to about 16 years of age. And then the body will stay the same for some time. And then gradually the body starts to get old. So the person is the same, but the body is changing. So the, the soul within the body, that never changes. But the body and the mind, they are changing. Certainly the mind develops, the mind of the young child is different from the mind of the young man. And then the mind of the old man will be different still. So we have to understand there are these two, two kinds of energy. There is matter, which is simply chemicals, and there is spirit. Matter means the material elements of the creation. There are five main elements. Earth, water, fire, air, and ether. 
ether means space where there's when you take the air away, then what is left, that is ether. So if you so the body is made up of these five things. The body the, the, the and different combinations produce bones and veins and blood. And in the body there are different organs. Just like we have a heart to pump the blood. Heart is very important for the health of the body. So there is the heart and then there is also the, the lungs for the breathing of the air. And then you have, we have a liver and we have kidneys. And these different parts all work in the body to keep the body healthy. But these parts in the body are all made from different combinations of blood and uh, or earth and water and fire. So Srila Prabhupada says this this fact that the body is changing and the soul is not changing is accepted by all the by all the led, led all the educated um, spiritual teachers. There are two kinds of spiritual teachers. One is called a personalist and the other is called impersonalist. So the personalists, they understand that we are all individuals eternally. Not that we are this body eternally. But we have a we have a spiritual identity eternally. And they they recognize that there's also a supreme God over everyone. The, the Supreme Being is called Krishna or Vishnu. And all the other people, they worship Krishna or Vishnu and they devote themselves to him. We will ask Christine, do you believe in God? 
Do you believe there's a God? We will ask Krishna. Before I, before I uh, practice yoga, I don't believe it, but I have to yoga, I believe there's a God. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because uh, before our knowledge, it's, it's just a small part of knowledge and, uh, and it's not to tell everything in truth and we, we recognize the word, just the material word, but there is another huge, uh, huge word is uh, more interesting, it's a spiritual word. So in spiritual world, uh, we, we believe there is a God and every creature is a part of the God. Oh, okay. What hey, about... Hey. Yes, go, go ahead, translate. Hey, I'm asking Christina, Christina, do tin vào Thượng Đế hay không? Do you believe there is a God or not? Christina said that before you do yoga, you don't believe that there is a God or not. We will ask Panchajanya Prabhu, does he believe in God? Yes, Maharaj. Why? Because we, we are the part and parcel of God. How do you know? Because um, we believe like I have my father and my father also born from his father and if we go back to back we would find there will be someone who born every, everyone. So I believe that there is someone who created everything and we are come from him and that that person is the God. Okay. Manage translate. Thầy có hỏi, Philip là Philip có tin rằng có đấng tối cao không? Philip có trả lời là có tin. Tại vì là khi mà Philip nghĩ rằng là người mà sinh ra Philip đó là cha, sau đó ông nội, sau đến cụ kệ, thì nghĩa là những cái người trước 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 nữa đó, những cái người sinh ra các cái thế hệ sau đó thì phải có một người nào đầu tiên để sinh ra các thế hệ sau này. Yes, I, I, I believe in God because I want, I understand that this world must come from somewhere, from someone, from somewhere. Thầy thì thầy cũng tin là sẽ có đấng tối cao, đã có đấng tối cao, tại vì thầy tin rằng là có một người nào đó tạo ra một cái vũ trụ như này và người đó đang ở đâu đó. There must be someone in charge of this world. Có một người nào lãnh đạo cái thế giới này. Wherever we go, we will find somebody is in charge. Bất kỳ nơi nào mà chúng ta đi tới thì chúng ta đều tìm thấy có một người nào đó đứng đầu. If you go in, into the shop, the shopkeeper will come and say, I'm in charge, what do you want? Ví dụ như chúng ta đi vào một gian hàng mà có, đầu tiên là có một người chủ hàng, người ta sẽ hỏi chúng ta là chúng ta cần một cái gì đó. So the same way, we come into this world, somebody is in charge. Cũng chính vì thế mà trong cái thế giới của chúng ta phải có một người đứng đầu. I know I am not in charge. Thầy biết được rằng là thầy không phải là người đứng đầu. There's somebody much, much greater than me in charge. So this is the personalist philosophy. But the, the impersonalist philosophy said, says this world is not real. And it says, we are also not real, we're not individuals. Well, họ nghĩ rằng là chúng ta không phải linh hồn. 
The impersonalist philosophy, they say, we are all God. But they also believe in the soul. And they also believe the body is temporary and the soul is eternal. So naturally we will wonder, if the soul is eternal, what happens when the body dies? Where's the soul going to go? This we have to understand from the help with the help of Bhagavad Gita. All right. So said. Uh, In the purport, it talks about Lord Vishnu and his abode, which means he has his own kingdom. So, we should understand there is this world, the material world, where there is birth and death. But there's another world, spiritual world, where there is no death. In the spiritual world, everyone has a spiritual body. So they don't suffer birth or death. Okay, so we'll go ahead, we'll read more. Maybe the time will finish, so we can join again in assembly. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's going to finish in how many minutes? Okay, so I will. Huh? So finish thirty minutes. Okay, so we have time. Yeah. We still have time. This is the beginning of the instruction by the Lord to the living entities who are bewildered by the influence of ignorance. Removal of ignorance involves the re-establishment of the eternal relationship between the worship, worship, worshipper and the worshipable, and the consequent understanding of the difference between the part and parcel living entities and the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One can understand the nature of the Supreme by thorough study of oneself, the difference between oneself and the Supreme being understood as the relationship between the part and the whole. In the Vedanta Sutra, as well as in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the Supreme has been accepted as the origin of all emanations. Such emanations are experienced by superior and inferior natural sequences. The living entities belong to the superior nature, as it will be revealed in the seventh chapter. Although there is no difference between the energy and the energetic, the energetic is accepted as the supreme, an energy or our nature is accepted as the subordinate. The living entities, therefore, are always subordinate to the Supreme Lord 
as in the case of the master and the servant, or the teacher and the taught. Such clear knowledge is impossible to understand under the spell of ignorance. And to drive away such ignorance, the Lord teaches the Bhagavad Gita for the enlightenment of all living entities for all time. Okay, please read the Vietnamese. Okay, thank you. So, Srila Prabhupada is explaining how Krishna is giving us all instruction. Krishna is a teacher and we are the students. We don't know anything, but Krishna knows everything. So Krishna is going to take away our ignorance by giving us knowledge. We are part, we are the part of God. We're not God, but we're a tiny part of God. Just like the finger is a part of the body. Right? And if we lose one of our fingers, then that finger, if you cut the finger off, that finger is useless. <laughs> 